Now let's look at compound interest. Now compound interest is when the added interest from the money lent or borrowed also earn interest from then on. In another words, it is interest on interest, which means that we will earn interest from the interest that we have earned previously. In this example, a man deposited $5,000 into a bank that pays a compound interest of 2% per annum. Once again, per annum means per year. Find the amount of money that the man receives after 3 years. Now, in order to find these amounts, we have to look at the first year. And for the first year, he will receive an interest of $5,000 times 2%. And since there's only one year for the first year, we will times 1 and we will divide by 100. For the first year, the man will receive $100 interest. Now, this $100 will earn interest for the next year. And the second year, we will have interest is equal to PRT over 100 as well. However, the principal amount now is yes, $5,100. The interest rate is still the same and we are only calculating for one year. And therefore, the interest rate for the second year itself will be $102. Now, for the third year, this amount of interest will earn interest as well. And what is the principal amount here? Yes, it will be the $5,100 plus the interest of $102 after the second year. And on the third year, we will start with $5,202, which will earn an interest of 2%. And since it is only for one year, which is the third year, we will times 1 and divide by 100. And therefore, the interest for the third year is $104.04 and therefore the amount that he receives after 3 years will be the amount that he started off in the third year plus the interest that he earned which is equals to $5,306.04 Now there's an easier way to find compound interest by using this formula P multiplied by 1 plus R over 100 to the power of N whereby P once again, it's the principal or initial amount. R is the interest rate for each compounding period. N is the number of times that the amount is compounded. If the number of times compounded is in month, then the interest rate must be per month as well. And likewise for year. It is important to note that N must be a natural number that is greater than 1. Let's look back at the previous example whereby a man deposited $5,000 into a bank that pays a compound interest of 2% per year and we are asked to find the amount of money that the man receives after 3 years. This time around we will apply the formula for compound interest and this formula gives us the total amount. Now P is equal to 5000 The interest rate per compound period is 2%. And the number of times is compounded is 3. Applying the formula, we will have the total amount is equal to $5,306.04, which is exactly the amount that we have found previously. Now, what happens if the question asks us to find the amount of interest instead? Then we will take the total amount minus the principal amount to give us the interest equals to $306.04. Once again, do take notes that this formula for compound interest is to find the total amount and not the interest. Here, Mrs. Shahira borrowed $12,000 from a bank that charges a compound interest of 0.3% per month. We are asked to find the amount of money that she has to repay after 9 months if the interest is compounded monthly. Now, the compound interest here is per month. The amount that she has to pay will be after 9 months and the interest is compounded monthly. And hence here we have all the same time units. And we can simply apply the formulas without converting any of these numbers here. And we will have the total amounts to be $12,327.92 rounded off to 2 decimal places.
Now, in this example here, the interest is compounded monthly. However, the compound interest is per year or per annum. And the amount of money that she has to repay is after 9 months. And hence, we have to change this per annum to per month. The principal amount is $12,000. If it's 6% per annum, it will be 6 over 12% per month. And the number of times compounded will be 9 times because we compound it monthly and therefore 9 months means we will compound it 9 times. Applying the formula, we will have this answer. In this next example, the interest is compounded monthly. The compound interest is 0.2% per month. However, she will borrow the money for 8 years. And hence, we will change these years here to month instead. The principal amount will be $12,000. The interest rate will be 0.2% per month since we are compounding it monthly. Now, how many times do we compound in 8 years? If we compound it monthly, yes, it will be 8 times 12, which is we will compound it 96 times. And therefore, the total amount will be this. In this example, the interest is compounded monthly. The compound interest is 4% per annum. And we will have to find the amount of money that she has to repay after 8 years. In this case, we will have to change both years here to month. The principal is $12,000. The interest rate, if it's 4% per annum, how many percent is it per month? Yes, it is 4 over 12. And in 8 years, how many times did we compound if we compound it monthly? Yes, we will compound it 8 times 12 times, which is 96 times. And substituting these values into the formula, we will have the total amounts to be this. Here, we will compound the interest yearly. And the compound interest is 0.2% per month. And we are asked to find the amount that she has to repay after 8 years. Since it is compounded yearly, we will have to find the compound interest per year. Principal amount is still $12,000. If it's 0.2% per month, how many percent is it per year? Yes, we have to times 12 to get 2.4% per year. And the number of times we compound, since it is compounded yearly, so 8 years will be compounding it 8 times. And therefore, the total amount will be this. In this next example here, Mr. Lee receives a compound interest of $526.35. After depositing a certain amount of money into the bank for 4 years, the bank pays a compound interest of 3% per year, which is compounded annually. We are asked to find Mr. Lee's principal amount. Now, this formula here is for the total amount. But we are given the compound interest instead. And do take note that the interest is compounded annually. The bank pays a interest of 3% per year. And Mr. Lee deposited the amount into the bank 4 years ago. And the time period are all in years. Now, what are some of the missing values here? The total amount will be Yes, X, which is the initial amount, plus the compound interest. And the principal amount here is given by X. The interest rates will be 3% per year. And the numbers of time compounded will be 4, since we compound it annually. Simplifying the algebra, we will have X plus 526.35 equals to 1.1255x. In order to find x, we will subtract x on both sides to give us this. And finally, we will divide 0 0.1255 on both sides to give us x equals to 4194.02. Now, this amount here is Mr. Lee's principal amount. And therefore, his principal amount is $4,194.02. In summary, 
The formula for simple interest is equal to P times R times T over 100. And this formula is finding the interest. On the other hand, the compound interest formula is to find the total amount, which is given by P multiplied by 1 plus R over 100 to the power of N. Hence, if you want to find the total amount here, you need to plus P. And in this case, if you want to find the interest here, you have to minus P. Finally, do take notes that the definition for N here is not years and this is not month, but the number of times compounded. Well, that's all for this topic.